Oh hey, and welcome to today's video. So today's format's gonna be different because I'm going to be taking you on this challenge that I'm making for myself. So it's gonna be a little vloggy. I'm excited for this because since I'm going to be making my fall wardrobe. Since 2020, when I was almost exclusively living in yoga pants, as many of us were, and then I lived in the trailer, and again, yoga pants, t-shirts, I kind of got rid of all of my clothes. And I am a huge fashion person. I appreciate beauty in any form. And now that I am in a home, I have been slowly trying to rebuild my wardrobe. And I would try my very best to do that by supporting small businesses or buying everything secondhand. Thrifting sucks where I live, so I just pop is like my best friend but recently I have started to learn to sew I actually knew how to sew when I was little but I I mean that was elementary school I basically started from scratch I didn't know what I was doing it was an embarrassment a couple months ago but I've been practicing and I'm hoping that in this challenge I get to practice even more develop my skills take you along with me challenge myself in more ways than one and hopefully create some fall clothes that really feel like me because that's the other problem. I have a really hard time finding clothes that I like in stores. And I'm also a mid-sized gal, so clothing fitting has always been an absolute nightmare my whole life. So being able to kind of reclaim that in sewing and make things that actually work for me, my body, and my style feels very empowering and I'm very excited and hopefully I don't completely mess it up. So here's the challenge that I'm gonna make for myself. So within the next week, two weeks, max. I'm going to challenge myself to do a sewing marathon where I try to make as many clothes as I possibly can. I am wanting to do a lot of things that are kind of like a hint to vintage of different eras, like all the way back to like Renaissance genotype of vintage, uh, but like 60s, 40s, we'll see what I do. And then I just kind of want like black witchy stuff because I feel like it's just so appropriate. But I'm very proud of myself because even though I'm very much someone who gravitates towards black, I bought some nice brown plaid stuff because I kind of am feeling it this year. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna be taking you along as much as I can and stick around for the very end because I'm gonna do a lookbook and hopefully I make things that aren't so atrocious as the lookbook works well and is inspiring. Jumping into project number one, I was inspired by this top that I got from a vintage pattern from my mom, but I'm actually not gonna use it. I'm just gonna use kind of the inspiration for it. I wanna make a top that has a peplum at the bottom, and I was thinking about doing like a sweetheart neckline because that kind of looks more flattering on me than collars do, but I wanna keep it as a button up. I found this pattern on Mood Society, which you should definitely check out if you're into sewing because they're, they have a ton of free patterns. And I'm gonna do some very, very heavy modifications because as you can see, it looks nothing like what I'm wanting to do. So I'm gonna walk you through all the stuff that I'm going to alter how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna create a mock-up for this one because I'm changing so much that I really wanna make sure it fits well. So let's go hit my fabric stash and see what kind of fabric would work for this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this pattern together, cut it out, and kind of start mishmashing some things and create some sort of pattern so I can cut out of some muslin that I have here to make a mock-up. And hopefully it's not catastrophic. I'm honestly a little worried, but I think I'm gonna figure it out. Oh, this is so related, but since I am going to be marathon sewing, I thought I should marathon binge audiobooks while I do this. So I've been dying to get into like a really, really long book, and the historian just got off my holds on Libby. So that's what I'm been listening to. Thought I'd share. I'll share whatever else I end up listening to. I just finished Small Favors and five stars for me. I thought it was fantastic. So hopefully this is another good one. I've been wanting to read it for some time. So I'm ready to get in the zone and get creative. So let's get working.
so it's been a few days. That project took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I ended up having to do so many modifications. The fitting was just not great. I ended up foregoing the pattern I was going to use, except for the bottom peplum part, and just kind of mid mishmashed my own thing at the top. And that just took a really long time. The fabric was kind of a pain to work with a little bit too. It kind of frayed, like just by looking at it. It was just annoying. And I think I lost a little bit of momentum, but I'm trying to get that back with my next project. And for that, I'm going to be following a pattern in a video to the T, which I honestly have never done. Like I've always modified something at some point. This is my first time doing this, but I'm really excited because this dress um, is from Daria Pattern Making. It's called the Million Buttons Dress. I have this really beautiful black fabric that is just gonna be a dream with draping. And so I'm really excited. Hopefully following instructions, I can get this done pretty fast. And then I'll do some more experimenting, don't worry. So I will check in again in a little while. I finished my dress mostly. The reason I say mostly is because as you see there are no buttons on it. Um, I have a cover button maker that's supposed to have like almost close to 30 cover buttons on it and I was very stupid. Left it on the counter and my cats played with it and I don't know where it is. I was on my hands and knees trying to find it. I can't find it. I'm gonna try to look today a little bit more. If not I'm gonna have to find something else to do but I thought I could just put that off because I can work on this like at nighttime or something but I loved this pattern it looks kind of weird without all the buttons obviously but I feel like I learned a lot about like finishing garments and making it look like really nice and like I didn't make it which I've been trying to really work on that like trying to be really good with like my seams and all those things I don't have a serger so I'm just trying to do my best so it doesn't look like a frayed mess on the inside and I'm very happy with how this turned out and it was really nice getting to follow directions for a brief period of time but I'm not going to be doing that with the next project. Okay so the idea that I'm going for is a renaissance medievally inspired dress. So I was really inspired by the closet historian who's channel is just amazing highly recommend it. but I want to kind of try to do my own flair try with the dress by just, you know, seeing what I got, making some alterations, piecing things together. I'm thinking of a corset like top, maybe like a pencil skirt or something kind of a little bit more figure hugging at the bottom. And so I'm just gonna see what I could come up with. I am going to definitely be doing a mock-up. So let's start pulling these ideas and trying to make them into something concrete. So here's a crude drawing of what I'm thinking about. After considering for a little while, I think I'm actually going to do two separate pieces. That way I can use the stay, the under bust stay independently with other outfits. Same thing with the skirt, but all together I'm hoping that it kind of looks like a dress. I have a perfect stay pattern already. I'm just going to modify it to make it an under bust. I'm actually going to be making the full stay later on this week. I also thought it'd be kind of cool to carry the grommets and X pattern lacing in the skirt and I thought it'd be just a cool touch. So let's get started on the mock-up. 
Oh, and one last thing, I'm also debating whether or not I wanna do boning. I'm definitely probably gonna do some here in the front just to reinforce where the grommets are. Not sure about the rest, just because I don't have enough. I have a little bit left over from my last project. I have more in the mail that's coming tomorrow, but that's gonna be for the official stay I'm doing. Since this is more fashion-y, I'm okay if it doesn't have it in there, but we'll see. because I had ordered some fabric and I thought it was gonna come in time and it finally came and I'm super excited because this is my very autumnal looking fabrics that I got. I finished cutting everything. It took me a little while because I had to do three layers of fabric for the bodice piece since I want to be able to use it as a stay and I'm not putting any boning and the fabric that I am using for the entire dress is not very thick or sturdy. On its own, I am doing a lining and an interlining to try to give it a little bit more structure. So I'm gonna get started sewing everything, putting it all together. I'm gonna start with the bodice. I'm gonna have to do it basically twice, basting the interlining and the main fabric together, creating the bodice, and then doing the same with the lining and then attaching the two of them. And then I'm gonna put the grommets, all that really fun stuff. And then I'm gonna do the skirt. I have the waistband here. I also cut up little strips of interlining for the bottom slits so that when I put on the grommets, even though they're not gonna be actually, there's not gonna be any tension, so it doesn't tear, so nothing happens. I also finished The Historian and I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot for like the first three fourths of it. I love history and so I liked all the in-depthness that it had. Um, but then by the end, I was kind of just like over it. Like I was, even when things were picking up, I was just kind of done with the story at that point. I just felt like it was a little anticlimactic. But I'm gonna start a new audiobook, The Once and Future Witches, I forgot the name. Um, hopefully it's pretty good.
last day of this marathon and we're gonna have a very autumnal plaid day and we're gonna make a couple skirts. concludes my sewing marathon building my fall wardrobe thank you so much for joining me on this very fun little challenge I had a lot of fun I learned a lot I'm still in the beginnings of my sewing journey so I have a lot left to learn if you'd like to see a part two let me know down below and if you enjoy seeing creative content especially during this fall season don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and join our little community and hit the like button if you feel so inclined because that really helps me out and I so appreciate it well, thank you so much again. Sorry that this video took forever to bring to you guys, but I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will be uploading the next video soon, and it's gonna be fun. So, I'll see you then. Bye.